सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नाइन पर्सनैलिटी डिवेलपमेंट थ्रू योगा नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स प्राणायाम प्राण रिफर्स टू द यूनिवर्सल लाइफ फोर्स एंड आयाम मीन्स टू रेग्युलेट प्राण इज द वाइटल एनर्जी विदाउट विच द बॉडी वुड नॉट सर्वाइव Pranayam relates to breathing techniques which help to increase breathing capacity. Some common pranayams include Anulom Vilom, Bhastrika, Ujjayi, Shitali, etc. 9.6.1 Anulom Vilom Pranayam Alternate Nostril Breathing The Anulom means towards and Vilom means reverse. It is called Anulom Vilom because alternate nostrils are used for each inhalation and exhalation. One inhales through the left nostril and then exhales through the right nostril. Then the order is reversed by inhaling through the right nostril and exhaling through the left nostril. This pranayam is called Nadi Shodhan Pranayam also. If it is performed with Kumbhak, holding the breath. Let us perform Anulom Vilom by following the steps given below. Step number one: Sit in the position of Padmasan or in any other comfortable meditative posture. Page number one forty-five. Step number two: Keep the body erect and place the hands on the respective knees. Step number three: Raise the right hand and place the right thumb on the right nostril. and close it step number 4 inhale slowly through the left nostril step number 5 close the left nostril by the ring finger and the little finger and exhale slowly through the right nostril step number 6 again inhale through the right nostril step number 7 close the right nostril with thumb and exhale through the left nostril this is one round of anulom vilom Step number eight. Repeat it ten times. Remember the following points. Do's. Inhale the air slowly without bulging the abdomen. Keep the ratio of one is to one or one is to two between the inhalation and the exhalation. Don'ts. Avoid producing sound from the nose. Do not press hard on the nostrils. Avoid retaining breath, kumbhak, in the beginning. benefits it calms down the mind and improves concentration it improves functioning of all cells of the body by providing them sufficient oxygenated blood it purifies the blood it improves blood supply to brain it helps to regulate blood pressure it helps in managing stress by reducing anxiety it is beneficial in many diseases such as asthma high or low blood pressure insomnia chronic pain endocrine imbalances heart problems hyperactivity etc limitation in the beginning retention of breath should be avoided 9.6.2 bhastrika pranayam the word bhastrika has been taken from a sanskrit word bhastra which means a pair of bellows in this pranayam the action of a bhastra or bellows are imitated In this pranayam inhalation and exhalation are done forcefully in rapid succession just as a blacksmith blows in and out the bellows forcefully in rapid succession dilating and contracting it similarly breath is taken in and out by dilating and contracting the stomach in forced and rapid succession page number 146 Let us perform Bhastrika Pranayam by following the steps given below. Step number one: Sit in Padmasan, Ardh Padmasan, or in any other meditative posture. Keep the body erect. Step number two: Slowly inhale through the nostrils. Step number three: Then exhale quickly and forcefully through the nostrils. Step number four: Immediately inhale with force. step number 5 continue this forceful rapid exhalation and inhalation counting up to 10 breaths 
Step number six. At the end of the tenth breath, the final exhalation is followed by a deep inhalation and slow exhalation. This is one round of Bhastrika Pranayam. Seventh, take few normal breaths after this round before starting another round. Eight, complete three rounds of Bhastrika Pranayam. Nine, there may be variations in the technique of Bhastrika Pranayam. Remember the following points. Do's, lungs, diaphragm and stomach should move with each inhalation and exhalation. Bhastrika Pranayam should be performed after Asan and Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Don'ts. Do not go beyond the capacity. Chest and shoulders should not move. Do not practice it in extremely hot conditions. Benefits It increases gastric fire and improves appetite. It destroys phlegm. It is beneficial in case of asthma. Limitation Bhastrika pranayam should not be practiced during ear infection. Persons suffering from heart problems, high blood pressure, vertigo, stomach ulcers should not practice this pranayam. Page number 147 9.7 Band 9.7.1 Udyan Band In Sanskrit, Udyan means raising up and Band means contraction of any part of the body. This may be called Udyan because it raises the diaphragm up. In this Band, the diaphragm is made to fly up from its original position and held very high in the thoracic cavity. This band exercises the diaphragm and the ribs. It can be practiced either in sitting or in standing position. Let us perform Udyan band by following the steps given below. Step number 1. Sit in Padmasan, Vajrasan or Sukhasan. Keep the hands on knees. Step number 2. Exhale through the mouth, emptying the lungs as much as possible. Hold the breath outside and press down the knees with palms. Step number 3. Form a pit in the abdomen. For making the pit, contract the abdominal muscles inward towards the spine and upwards. Abdominal lock. Hold the breath outside with abdominal lock for as long as comfortable. Step number 4. To come back, gradually release the abdominal lock, come slowly to the starting position and start inhaling slowly. Repeat it three to four times. The final position in Udyan Band is shown in the image on this page. Remember the following points. Do's. Have the deepest possible exhalation. Keep the front abdominal muscles completely relaxed and expand the chest. Practice Udyan only on an empty stomach. Perform Udyan Band with external breath retention only. Don'ts. Avoid allowing the air to flow into the lungs during the practice. A beginner should not make more than three attempts a day. Benefits. It increases the respiratory efficiency. It improves blood circulation in the thoracic and abdominal region. It tones up the abdominal muscles. It is beneficial in the conditions of constipation, indigestion and diabetes mellitus. Page number 148 Limitation Persons suffering from hernia, high blood pressure, heart disease, intestinal ulcers should not practice this. 9.8 Dhyan Meditation Meditation is a yogic practice by which mind becomes still and relaxed. We all know that our mind always remains active and never takes rest. All kinds of thoughts and emotions negatively affect it and as a result minds become disturbed. In order to pacify and relax the mind, it is to be stilled. This can be done by taking the mind away from the external things. In the picture given on this page, we can see a group of yoga sadhaks practicing meditation. For pacifying and relaxing the mind, 
Meditation is a very effective practice. It relaxes body and mind both and refuels them with energy. Several researchers indicate that meditation improves the functioning of brain. There are several techniques of meditation. They vary in the methodology but the goal of all techniques is same. That is, reaching an inner calm and a higher level of awareness. All techniques of meditation involve focusing on a single point, a mantra, a word or an object. In the beginning, focusing of the mind is difficult. Therefore, a beginner can start meditating for a few minutes only and later on can increase its duration. Let us practice meditation by following the steps given below. Step number 1. Sit in Padmasan, Sukhasan or in any meditative comfortable posture. Place your hands in Gyan Mudra on your respective knees. Keep your spine erect. Close your eyes gently. Step number 2. Breathe normally. Page number 149. Step number 3. Focus your attention on the breath. Go inside yourself and observe your breathing. Concentrate on inhalation and exhalation. During the practice, your mind may wander here and there. Try to concentrate on your breath only. Breathe normally. Step number 4. Now you can focus on the space between the eyebrows with closed eyes. Remain in this position for 5 minutes. Step number 5. To come back, bring your consciousness very slowly back to the external surroundings. Step number 6. Cup the eyes with the hands and blink the eyes for a few seconds so that sudden exposure to light does not irritate them. Slowly open your eyes and remove the hands. Slowly externalize yourself. Meditation can be performed in different forms. For example, instead of breath, one may focus on sound also. For this, slowly produce the sound. Keep on reducing its volume till it comes to a barely audible note. Then stay calm and concentrate on the tip of the nose or the space between the eyebrows with closed eyes. Benefits It gives deeper relaxation. It lowers heart rate and blood pressure. It slows respiratory rate. It helps to reduce stress. It helps in managing emotions. Introspection In addition to above yogic practices, you can practice introspection for personality development. Introspection means inner inspection or self-observation. It also means looking within. Introspection is an important method by which a person becomes aware about the self. This practice makes us aware about our strengths and weaknesses. Introspection can be done anytime. You can practice introspection before going to bed. Let us practice introspection by following the steps given below. Step number 1. Sit in Padmasan or any other comfortable meditation pose. Step number 2. Close your eyes. Step number 3. Observe your breaths. Focus your mind on your breath only. Many unwanted thoughts may come to your mind and disturb you, but try to focus on your breath only. Page number 150 Step number 4 Now think about the day that has just passed. Think on the following. How did you spend your day? Did you waste your time on unnecessary activities? How did you behave with others? What kind of thoughts you had during the day? Step number 5. Analyze your behavior. If you find mistakes in your behavior, then make a resolve not to repeat them again. Step number 6. Make a plan for the next day. Fix your targets for the next day and plan accordingly to achieve them. Step number 7. Now, stop thinking and focus on your breath. Now, gently open your eyes and relax. Now time for assessment. Answer the following questions. Number 1. Mention various dimensions of personality. Number 2. 
which yogic practice is useful for developing physical dimension of personality number 3 which practice can help you develop emotional control number 4 write two advantages of asanas number 5 what are benefits of kapalbhati number 6 which practices would you like to perform to develop interpersonal relationships number 7 what are the benefits of bhastrika number 8 write the names of asan which derive their name from living and non living objects number 9 mention the importance of introspection number 10 write the technique of meditation number 11 write a short note on pranayam number 12 which yogic practices are related to the behavior and need to be adopted irrespective of time and place project how about doing a project prepare a chart of five asanas which have been named after animals collect stories related to the principles of yam and niyam and prepare a folder prepare a chart on the changes you have experienced in various dimensions of personality you are just listening to this audio book narrator neeraj yadav technical coordinator bati langlingdo sound recordist vikas sangwan assistance in production ruchi sharma directed and produced by vimlesh choudhury this audio book is presented to you by cietncert New Delhi, India.